Harris, have you made your plans yet on where to watch the total solar eclipse on April 8th? Well, Ohio towns and cities in the path of totality are getting ready to get swamped mm -hmm. by sun watchers from near and far, and so are our state parks. NTV Zug Podcast live at Alum Creek State Park in Delaware County with how the Department of Natural Resources is getting ready for this. Doug. Uh, Andrew and Yolanda, I'm ready. I mean, I've got my eclipse glasses ready. I've got my spot on the beach staked out, of course be a long wait for two months but right now I do have this whole stretch to myself that certainly will not be the case on April 8th ODNR expects beaches like this one at Alum Creek State Park and at other parks to be just jam-packed with people so for one thing the ODNR ordered a hundred thousand pairs of these eclipse glasses that they'll be handing out to people who visit state parks on April 8th and around that time they'll also be fully staffed and they've been making plans for a couple years now February 8th in Central Ohio, a beautiful day to be on the beach. Playground, slide, water, picnic, picnic's our favorite. Bree Mullenkamp and her kids had the whole stretch of sand to themselves at Alum Creek State Park. Gonna get out, get some vitamin D. That won't be the case on April 8th. We are not expecting chaos, but we are expecting crowds. On the beaches, in the campgrounds, and on the roads of all 29 of the state parks in the eclipse's path of totality. Pack extra food, pack extra water, extra blankets. If you take a medication, bring that with you just to be safe. Deering says it's all hands on deck for more than 170 natural resource officers and staffers prepared for anything, even April mud. We are prepared with some tow trucks. We've been working with county emergency management agencies to set up emergency response plans. And we've got routes already identified for emergency responders. Getting back home once the eclipse passes may be trickier than getting to your sun watching spot. People will trickle in throughout the day uh, the event happens and then everyone wants to leave at the same time. ODOT will pause all construction projects just like on a major holiday and have a full contingent of crews to help handle traffic control for crashes. Many options as we can uh, to get people uh, more throughput in, in these areas where we know we're going to see a higher number of people. Certainly we're going to work to do that. Deering just wants everyone to enjoy what might be a once in a lifetime event. And it's going to be just magical for those of us who who are going to be able to experience it. Ow. Back on the blustery beach, Bree Mullenkamp is mulling over what to do for when the sun plays hide and seek. Maybe come back here. The state park campgrounds aren't usually open until May, but this year the ODNR is opening them early in April to accommodate people who are coming here for the eclipse. Deering says campsites are still available that you can uh, reserve online, but all of the ones with full hookups are already booked at the 29 parks that are in the path of totality. And so while we wait another two months for the solar eclipse, at least today, we can enjoy a pretty nice sunset. Live at Allen Creek State Park, Doug Petcash, 10 TV News. Reserve our spot right there where you are there, Doug. Mm, Appreciate that's beautiful it. Where you are. <laughs> All of Ohio is preparing for that Toler Solar Eclipse. Cedar Point holding an eclipse viewing party. That celebration will take place from 12 until 6 p.m. on April 8th. The amusement park in Sandusky is in that path of totality. Tickets start at 99 bucks and they're available now. All right, don't forget, 10TV is the place to find out all the fun you can have leading up to Eclipse Day. We have details on which schools are closed, where to find those special solar eclipse viewing glasses, and more. So just uh, text the word Eclipse to the number there on your screen, and we'll send you a link with information right to your phone.